It's summertime, and in the summer, there's nothing better for the kids to do than to go outside. And in Tulsa, there's nowhere better to go than Camp Lockridge. As you can see, there's a lot to do here, but we're going to start off in the chapel. Hey, we're with Vince King at Camp Lockridge, which is a great facility here for the kids of the Tulsa community. And thanks for having us today in this beautiful, beautiful place. How did this all start? This camp started roughly, I believe, in about the 1930s. It was built as a YWCA camp. Mm -hmm. And in 1959, the first Presbyterian church in Tulsa purchased the camp. And in 1995, it be, the camp was spun off in a separate 501c3, mm -hmm. as you see it today, yeah. and Camp Lockridge, a non-denominational Christian-based camp. And the, the purpose, of uh, the, the mission, the, the reason why you guys are here? Well, we're here to reach out to children, and we're here to reach out to adults. So I would say multi-generational as a place where, where all ages can come and retreat for spiritual renewal mm -hmm. and Christian growth. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Yeah, we've got a great chapel here that uh, we're looking beautiful river, but a lot of great buildings. But more important, you've got about 1,500 kids that are coming through this summer from all walks of life in Tulsa we and uh, uh, really kind of engaging in the outdoors. We do. Thank you so much. We utilize God's creation, this beautiful outdoor setting that we have, and we, we, we share that with all of the kids that come, and we, we educate them insofar as, as that this is God's creation, and this is what God has done, and this yeah. is what we provide. And, and they, uh, so it's and they, better, better than a Nintendo screen or a Game Boy or getting stuck in front of a computer on we, the Internet? We keep them moving, exactly yeah. right. They get to enjoy swimming and archery and canoeing and hiking and biking. Yes. Mm -hmm. Horseback riding as well? Uh, that's on, it's not, it's <laughs> on the plan. We okay. hope to do that. Yeah. Uh, Vince, tell us a little bit about how the, the camp works to build the, the spiritual formation and discipleship of the kids. Uh, well, number one, all of our counselors are believers, and that is something that we are that we purposely interview and look for. So just to get that up front when the counselors come out, that the kids, as they engage in that one-on-one -on -one interaction with the counselors, we know that those counselors are looking for moments and opportunities to share the good news of Christ with them. But then programmatically, we also we have chapel, we have worship that's plugged into this on a regular basis, you know, uh, mm -hmm. throughout the week, where they'll come and then they'll, they'll study the Word and they'll also worship. And a special program that, uh, that you just kind of launched is the Teen Extreme program. Yes, that is a new program for us this year. We, we took a maybe a CIT, LIT, kind of a leadership type of program we used to offer, and we really did an overhaul with that. Mm -hmm. And we tried to listen to, to what is it that kids aged 14 to 16 really want to see and really what they want to do. Mm -hmm. We changed that around quite a bit, and we still provide those leadership, of course, and, and the, the spiritual component in mm -hmm. growing their faith. Mm -hmm. We also do that in what we call in a setting of high excitement, high adrenaline type of activities, yeah, like yeah. scuba diving and mountain biking. Ropes course. Ropes course, absolutely. Lots lots of high, like I said, high adrenaline. Yeah. And so uh, that seemed to work really well. We, we were able to, we had three sessions of that this year, and we sold out all three. Wow. And some of the leadership skills, you're talking about like a teamwork, problem solving, things Team, like that? Exact, teamwork, problem solving, and the opportunity for, for each, each student to reach down inside themselves and discover that, that yes, there are skills there that they can use to, that, that they are leaders every day in whatever setting that they're in. Mm -hmm. And for them to get that sort of confidence to, to, to say, well, hey, yeah, I can step forward and do some of these things. And so that's part of the challenge course, yeah, yeah. is to challenge them to, to grow. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, uh, what about the, the disadvantaged kids in Tulsa? Because you've got really quite a mixed community here uh, throughout the Tulsa area. Uh, is there programs that, that they can tap into as well? Yes, absolutely. You know, we are purposeful in making sure that somewhere between 15 to 20 percent of our campers will be scholarship children and they'll be they will be kids from areas that we reach out to that may not ever have the opportunity to come to camp mm -hmm. and and their camp is paid mm -hmm. and so so yes we, we we are purposeful in that there are a number of organizations that we work through yeah. that bring kids to us and how long have you been doing this Vince? I personally have been here let me look at my watch almost a year almost a, year, a year. year tomorrow okay. so uh, this is really your second summer 
this this is. I came in on the tail end of last summer. Yes. Even when, in that short space of time, have you been able to see uh, you know some kids that were maybe here last year that have come back this year, and you've seen uh, the impact, the difference that uh, Camp Lockridge has made in their life? I, I have. I, I've had the I've had the blessing to see kids to see that change and to also speak with the parents of those kids mm -hmm. that recognize that change and as well as counselors too which mm -hmm. is which is nice yes it's uh it's fun to see God at work to get a little glimpse at that every now and then yeah and great things are happening here I want to thank you for uh, just sharing your time and, and the place here with us we heard from some of the kids we got to participate in some of the activities yeah. and it's a real a real blessing I want to encourage mm -hmm. our friends in the Tulsa community and green country make make themselves available to this resource because it is uh, it's a great thing yes amen thanks Vince thanks Stephen. Whee!